Yellowstone supervolcano earthquakes reveal a shock that the system is six times bigger than what we originally thought. This is by Robin Weil, PhD researcher in volcanology at UCL, on the conversation. Seismologists have discovered a massive magma reservoir beneath Yellowstone supervolcano. It sits in Wyoming, United States. It suggests its volcanic system could be more than 5.6 times larger than was previously thought. Although it was already known that Yellowstone had one magma reservoir located about 3 to 10 miles below the surface, that's 5 to 16 kilometers below the surface, the new study, published in Science magazine, has revealed another, much larger reservoir sitting directly below the first, located around 20 to 50 kilometers, that's 12 to 30 miles below the surface. This reservoir is thought to have a volume of around 46,000 cubic kilometers, or compared to a volume of 10,000 cubic kilometers for the shallow reservoir above it. To make their discovery, scientists analyzed the vibrations made by earthquakes that pass beneath the volcano. The technique not only sends, sheds light on the volcano's potentially life-threatening eruptions, but it could also help us understand other volcanoes such as the Calbuco, which is currently erupting in Chile. And Yellowstone Volcano, beautiful site, beautiful country, they call it the Sleeping Giant or the Sleeping Beauty in this case. The Sleeping Beauty of Yellowstone Volcano is composed of an immense volcanic crater known as the caldera, more than 44 miles in length, 70 kilometers, most of which lies within Yellowstone National Park. The volcano rarely erupts lava as it did about, lasted about 70,000 years ago, but the magma lying beneath the surface gives rise to spectacular geothermal features such as geysers and colorful hot springs. The last large eruption, the super eruption at Yellowstone was 640,000 years ago and it ejected around 1,000 cubic kilometers or 240 cubic miles of volcanic material. This cataclysm created the Yellowstone caldera. To get an idea of this scale, the largest eruption in recorded history, Mount Tambora in 1815, erupted about six, a sixth of that. Magma reservoirs are thought to occur beneath most volcanoes and play a crucial role in the dynamics of the eruptions. However, they are too deep and conditions within them too extreme to be measured directly, so volcanologists have to infer information about them using other means, such as measuring seismic waves. These waves travel more slowly when they pass through molten rock, and accordingly the group, the group were able to use the velocities of the earthquake's waves to infer the presence of large, deep zone of partially molten material. Yellowstone's carbon footprint explained, the magma stored in the deeper reservoir probably does not cause eruptions at Yellowstone directly. Instead, it likely acts as a feeder, quote unquote, for the smaller, shallower reservoir, which is the ultimate source of the volcano's catastrophic eruptions. Scientists had suspected the existence of a second magma reservoir at Yellowstone for some time, but this new evidence is among the strongest support of the theory to date. The discovery of this second magma reservoir may also help to explain the mysterious feature of the Yellowstone volcano. Its carbon footprint. Carbon dioxide gas is commonplace at volcanoes. It's given off by rising magma. But Yellowstone's output, which is around, okay, I made a mistake. I said in my previous video on Yellowstone, it was 45 tons a day. It's not 45 tons a day. It's 45,000 tons of CO2 every day. Not 45 tons of CO2 every day. It's 45,000 tons of CO2 every day. That's a massive amount of carbon dioxide emission from Yellowstone. 
45,000, I have to print it on my hand, like, you know, our little jib sheets, you know, <laughs> we, <laughs> when we used to cheat on exams, <laughs> we have our, you know, arms <laughs> all tattooed with our answers. I have to put that on my palm. 45,000 tons of carbon dioxide come out of Yellowstone every day. That was too high to be explained by a single magma reservoir. But according to the study's authors, the presence of the new reservoir is enough to account for the volcano's CO2 flux. If the high-resolution seismic imaging technique used in the study could be repeated at other volcanoes whose deep structure is poorly understood, such as Calbuco volcano in Chile, volcanologists might eventually be able to understand how such eruptions take place. The first stirrings of volcanic eruptions happened far below the surface. If researchers can emulate the findings at Yellowstone and other volcanoes, it can only tell us more about the risks they pose. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.